thank you bango.com for making this video possible check the description for more information let's get started with the unboxing of blitzolf bw hl1 smartwatch right at the bat we have the device itself we have a strap for the smartwatch and of course the charging cable the charging cable has some sort of magnet inside it so it automatically gets a thrust every time you are trying to charge you don't have to think about the plus minus or anything else just get it close enough and it will automatically get a thrust and one more thing you don't need to detach the strap from the smartwatch to charge it you can charge it normally with the strap on on the smartwatch the magnet works flawlessly and it's pretty easy and convenient charging this device unlike the smart bands we have to detach to charge so we have an instruction manual which is written in six different languages that's pretty much all about the box content let's dive right into the smartwatch right at the bat one thing you'll notice for sure that the band itself is pretty heavy and that's due to the metallic design of the smartwatch the frame is totally made out of metal and will give you a premium feel every time you use it one more thing i'll have to mention despite of the heaviness of the smartwatch i found it pretty comfortable wearing this all day long even more comfortable than wearing a very light smartwatch band like Mi Band 4. That's maybe due to the very soft strap that's provided in the box. So for the overall design, it's a thumbs up from me. As we're done with the physical aspects, let's talk about the features. So in the home screen, you can see time date steps and your heart rate, which is pretty obvious. In the next page, the smartwatch shows you the detailed information about the amount of steps you have worked, also the distance you have passed, and the calorie you have burned. Next, you'll get to know about how much you slept last night. Next up, you can measure your heart rate with this smartwatch. Let's quickly compare it with the Mi Band 4 and find out its accuracy. As you can see guys the results are pretty close so I am happy with the results. In the training session you can analyze your walking, running, cycling, skipping, badminton, basketball, football and swimming. You can also measure your blood pressure with this device which I am not very sure about the accuracy but a lot of smart brands don't give this feature so thumbs up for that. You can also measure the oxygen level in your blood in the SpO2 segment. Next up you will have an idea about the weather forecast which will be updated once an hour. And in the message segment, you will see notification of specific applications that you will be selecting from the application. We will be talking about that right in a moment. You can also use the smartwatch as a camera trigger which will let you take photos through the application. In the other segment, you have an option to use a stopwatch. And then in the mute option, you can turn off the haptic feedback. I am recommending you to turning the mute on. The next option lets you reset your smartwatch and then you can also turn off your smartwatch. Finally, you have an option to control the brightness of your smartwatch. So that's pretty much all about the features on the smartwatch. Before we see more features on the application, I'll have to say a few more things here. First off, the 1.3 inch IPS display on the BWHL1 is really nice. I mean, this is not the brightest but the black pixels goes really black and this is gonna give you a very nice feel every time you use it. I'm not sure about the display production on the BWHL1 but I have been using this for a week now and I have already smashed it quite a few times. And you know what, I'm yet to see a scratch. This is really impressive. Now let's go ahead and connect the smartwatch with the smartphone. And for that you will need an app called Duffit which will be linked in the description. To set it up once the installation is done, go ahead and open the application and fill up your personal information. Now tap on the watch icon at the middle of the bottom and now tap on add a device. Keep in mind that Bluetooth should be enabled in your smartphone. If you see something here tap on it and your smartwatch will get connected. Time and date on your smartwatch will automatically get synced. Also, you can see the battery level on your smartwatch. There are three watch faces that you can choose from, which is a bit of a disappointment. In the notification, you can set to notify for calls, messages, or any other application. You gotta make sure you allow the app to read your notifications. In the shutter option, you can take photos using your smartwatch as a trigger. And in the other option, you have a few more options including weather, which you can set to update each hour. Back to the home page. Tapping on the steps, you can see some useful statistics which can help you to understand your fitness level better. In the heart rate segment, you will have your recent heart rate statistics. Same goes for blood pressure and oxygen level. You can track your running sessions in outdoor running segment. There are a few more features like screen on upon rising and notify for call which is very handy in day-to-day -day uses. If we talk about the battery life, the capacity is 180 mAh and it's fantastic. It is claimed to last 7 days of charge 
and I feel like the promise is justified. And the smartwatch is IP68 water resistance certified. So, so far, so good. But as it is named as a smartwatch, I have something to say here. I feel like this device is more like a smartwatch version of a smart band. Yes, it has a nice big display, but the display is not thus responsive. So you might have noticed that you gotta navigate by tapping and holding the only button. Plus, you cannot add or remove any other custom application in the watch interface, so this isn't necessarily a so-called smartwatch. But for the price you are paying, the BWHL1 is an awesome deal. The device is priced $25 on banggood.com and you can get additional discount by clicking the link in the description. And for the discounted price, the split tool BLWHL1 is pretty much a steal. The links are in the description guys, go ahead and check it out and use the coupon to get additional discount. So that was the review of BLWHL1. So what do you think of this guys? Do you think it's a good cheap alternative of me watch? Let's talk about that in the comment section. And as always, thanks a lot for watching. Ashukuri, Avaro Dakahobe.